right along, I'm going to walk you through the PyVPN setup and that's a small tutorial, it's very easy to follow and if you prefer the reading, it's, uh, there is also a link on the screen right now. So look into the um, Raspberry Pi you want to use for VPN and we're going to start with uh, downloading uh, the actual Pi VPN. It's not the safest way of downloading stuff because you download and install it but you can trust this website. After a few moments you're going to see it on the screen being installed and we can start uh, proceeding with the ins installer. The installer is very simple actually and most of the time you just click yes 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 uh, to go through it. So a um, few things, tap to jump to the next option, up and down, select different option and space uh, to actually mark the option as selected, then enter to continue. So bear that in mind. So once the installer is uh, ready, we're just going to go through a few screens. It will ask you if you need static IP, the link is on the screen if you need so, otherwise no, uh, I already configured mine. So uh, you're going to be asked to choose the user, I only have one user, if you have multiple just use the one you prefer. And then I will ask you to get an attended upgrade. So if anything happens, then obviously it will upgrade automatically and apply the settings after the reboot. It's best to um, allow for that because you're not going to be, you know, constantly there uh, to do it manually. So we're selecting UDP, uh, UDP uh, and selecting a custom port. Uh, I've choose the custom port, don't use the default one. Now the security, I'm using it for testing 1020 for encryption, so um, you know, it takes a little bit longer than that for the tw uh, tw 2048, so take your time. The key is going to be generated for you, it's going to take about 15 minutes, so sit back, watch another video. Now, uh, we're going to use a public DNS, don't use the IP because it's less secure to be honest. Use the DNS and you can use it like no, P, no IP for free DNS. So type in your DNS, I'll show you later if you've got dynamic uh, IP how to update it as well. So I've used my DNS, I confirm it and we can move to the next step. Now select the custom DNS provider and this is going to be your gateway, so the router address. Uh, in my case it's 9192.168.11 so confirm it and you're pretty much ready to roll it will apply a few settings before taking us to the next step so we've got everything ready the Raspberry Pi we will reboot and after the reboot we're just simply going to um, add the users so the command is by VPN to access the program you'll list your things you can do and uh, dash A to add the user, provide the username with uh, um, a name, that's going to be also the file name for the OpenVPN config file. So I'm uh, creating one for the mobile, uh, assign the password, this password remember because that's going to be needed on the client to access it, it'll generate the key and also going to create one for the computer, so I'll know which one is which and uh, uh, it will assign two different users, a mobile and a computer user to connect to the VPN. So once this is done, uh, we need to access these files and download them from the um, Raspberry Pi onto our target devices. So I'm using Notepad Plus and FTP plugin to get in there, uh, get to the correct directory and then select the files uh, that I've created in uh, OVPN's uh, folder, uh, download them to the target device. So computer one is going to com go on the computer, mobile one I'll transfer to the mobile. Now we've got almost everything ready. Now to connect it to, uh, once the files are saved, uh, we need to connect it to the, um, to the VPN server itself. From the computer we're going to use OpenVPN software which you can download uh, for free from the internet and for mobile you can use the app you know how to search for the app it's open VPN app as well uh, so do this uh, once this is the installation is in progress it's gonna take you four moments I'm gonna take this time to actually log in back to my router uh, because I need to allow a port that I've created earlier and remember I've selected 1501 port so I need to make sure this port is pointing uh, to the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, which was uh, 121. So set up uh, the single port forwarding, allow for this, and this way you will be able to reach uh, the port, reach the Raspberry Pi VPN and get internet access. So once your uh, thing is installed, just click on the icon and import file. And then you're ready to go really. Right click on the item, uh, select your config, connect, 
and you're going to be connected in a few seconds. Enter the password you've created when the config file was generated. And that's it, really. You are happy user of PyVPN. It was very simple, and I wish I knew it uh, previously when I was struggling with it. As you can see, internet works, everything's great. So what if you have a dynamic IP and you, it's not so easy for you? Then it's a good thing. You can uh, create an updater with no IP. So make the directory a no IP, browse to this directory, and we're gonna download the file. I'm gonna link you the tutorial uh, as well so you could access all the commands. Uh, it will take a moment to download everything and then we can start uh, installation of the file well we have to unpack it first so unpack the uh the tar file that we've downloaded and uh um, we will unpack it and we can install it on our raspberry pi basically what it does it will every now and then log in to the no ip and update uh, the no ip with a specific ip address or current ip address uh, so yeah navigate to the file uh make the file make the installer and then uh, install it so, sudo make install. Now, once this is installed, it will ask you to log in uh, to your account. So, make sure you've got noip.com account already with a free DNS and provide uh, your email address and password. And you'll be asked to update all the domains or selected domains. So, I'm updating it all. Uh, additional step if you've got multiple interfaces in use, just select the one that uh, you are currently using. So, in my case, it's Ethernet uh, 0. So type in zero and now type in your email address and password and whether you want to have all the um, the host names are updated. So I want to have them all updated, uh, why not? And then interval, it's in minutes. So five minutes, I'm doing it for testing, but it's too often you can easily settle for like six hours or something like that. And you get an option to run the script if uh, or a notification that your IP has changed or whatever. Now, um, we have to assign the, the sudo privileges to the folder, so just sudo the directory. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much everything. Now, the first update, even though I set it to five minutes, took about 10 minutes to register on no IP. So don't panic if you try it. If you, uh, the way to test it is manually just, uh, you know, update everything on the no IP to a different, team, a different IP and then wait for the script to configure it back to the uh, current IP and you'll know it's working. So as usual guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like the content, obviously you know what to do. Subscribe for more videos, uh, visit my website for the tutorial, the link's gonna be somewhere there. And the next uh, video also, if you're interested in watching some more tutorials. All right, until the next time, bye.